So you are on the market searching for the best backlight TV, but you don't know if you should purchase a solution like the Philips Hue or the LYT MI 2.1, the Neo 2.1 or Fantasy 3, or if you should purchase a solution like the Goovy TV Backlight T2 where you have a camera, which one is the best and which ones I recommend since I own the two and I have tested properly both of them. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you because everything that I bring to the channel have links on the description below where you can purchase this ones cheaper and in that way you'll be helping the channel to continue to grow and to bring more videos for you guys and obviously always very honest reviews. And I have to say to you guys that this video, this comparison took me ages to do. Not for what I'm going to say on the video but to really elaborate my thoughts around these products because this product is amazing and this product is amazing. This gives me something that this one doesn't give me and this one gives me other things that this one doesn't give me. I even had to ask my wife to decide which one she preferred because we were both very very confused and we didn't know which ones to choose. So telling you my experience with backlight TVs, I've been using backlight TV for like what? Five, six years in my house. I start with the wheel lights on the back of my TV, a static one that I really like. I never like it to see television without lights. But obviously when Goovy contacted me asking me to review their Goovy TV backlight T2, I said, yes, send me over and let me try it. And I have to say to you guys that the first experience was not good. I was not having the best results. And for that, you need to do a proper calibration and you need to position your camera properly. I have done a video where I explained that. So if you are curious and obviously if you are thinking to purchase this one, I definitely recommend you to see that video. It's just six minutes, but it shows you how to set it up properly. What is the settings that you should use to take the best profit of your Goovy TV Backlight T2. What I like about this product is that is always checking what is happening on the screen. And in that way, you will be able to no matter what is the content that you have on the, your television, no matter what is the signal, you'll be able to see what is happening in there. And I really, really like that because I do a lot of Chromecast, so I'm always sending the signal from my phone to my TV, for example, to see football for my country. And I can't do that on the LYTMI, yes. So when you jump here, you are going to connect your TV imagine HDMI 1, you are going to connect to the plug that says TV and after you can run up to 4 devices and the signal that you have here goes up to 8K. And I have to say to you guys that when I connected this one, I was like blown away. It was night and day the experience that I had from here to here. So if you are searching for something that is super immersive, the Philips Hue or the LYTMI is going to deliver a better job for you guys. But it comes with a lot of disadvantage. First of all, if you are thinking to purchase this one from LYTMI and you want to synchronize with their bars, that is the ones that I have here, I'll definitely recommend you to don't do it. But if you want some bars, they are very, very interesting. And like I show on the full review that gives you a good background experience definitely I recommend you to buy these ones and use as I use I put these ones on the back of my couch and it gives a very good vibe to my living room and I really really like it but when I managed to basically synchronize these ones with the, um, the box it was really really interesting the experience I, I felt completely involved so if you have like flashes or if you are seeing a film that is dividing the screen into the experience here it's simply amazing. The app is much worse than the app that you have from uh, Goovy. The Goovy app is much much better. You can see that they are doing that for ages and they are considered to be one of the best brands. LYTMI is not on the market for a long period of time. I definitely recommend you to run on Smart Life app because it works much much better than their own app and when you go and you jump on their products the experience is exactly the same that you are going to see in their app. But if you try to synchronize, at least myself, I always had issues and I never managed to really work with these lights synchronized with their box. 
disadvantage if you choose this. Like I said, if you are Chromecasting something for your television, you will not be able to use it. If you are like me and you have a very expensive television like a Sony A95K, it's disappointing because if you are using their system, you will not be able to use this box. So for that, I need to connect this to my old Nvidia Shield and my Nvidia Shield is just compatible with Atmos and not compatible with Dolby Vision and for that reason I can't see content in Dolby Vision because my Nvidia Shield is not compatible with Dolby Vision so if you are in this type of situation like me maybe it's not the best experience but if you are searching for something that is super super immersive that works obviously with your box that works with your PlayStation, she's box, it's going to be an amazing experience and nothing beats how fast it works and how responsive, how much things happens on the screen. So experience here, amazing. But when you come here, I can do everything else. Like I said, it's always working. Even if just the television is on and I have on the menu, I always have that vibe happening on the back of the television at night. So definitely something that I really like with Govi. Also is much less cables. If you think about it, I just have a cable that is connected here and one plug. Here I need to connect this one. I have one HDMI connected to the television, another HDMI connected to the box, more plugs on the back of the television. So also if you want to reduce the amount of electricity, definitely here I think you're going to have a better solution. But this one is not so immersive. The colors are not so detailed. On the small things that are happening everything's happening a little bit slower and you have a bit of a delay i like also the experience because sometimes here is a bit too much but in certain moments if you are seeing some action this is much much better i normally say that when i was seeing for example some teasers for a film I didn't really like it to see with the Goovy. I like it much, much more with the LYTM i 2.1, Neo 2.1 or Fantasy 3, or obviously with the Philips U. I really like how versatile is Goovy. And for that reason, for more than I like how immersive is here and is definitely not as immersive with the Goovy TV Backlight T2, my choice goes to the Goovy TV Backlight T2 because like you could understand, I don't want to lose the possibility to use my television as the system for my television where I have my Netflix, my Disney Plus and all the streaming apps because it's super super fast and faster than my Nvidia Shield and in here I'm forced to use my other box and also I had to stop using just one remote and by the way let me know in the comments below which ones you prefer do you prefer a solution like the Philips Hue or the LYTM i 2.1 Neo 2.1 or Fantasy 3 or you prefer something like the Goovy TV Backlight T2 and obviously let me know which ones you have at your house my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.